Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to the other side of my room. We are in the same room, I just flipped the camera around. I, I thought it'd be cool. What, you don't like it? Cry about it. Anyways, TikTok. I'm sure you've heard of it. I'm sure you've even used it before. And if you've used it anytime recently, I'm sure you've seen a video of somebody trying to sell you something. Like this one right here. What? It's just an ordinary crabby- oh! Link in bio. Now, every time I see one of those videos, I sit there and think to myself, who would buy something like that? And then I remembered, I have a YouTube channel. Why don't I buy some of these products and test them out and see? Are these products a scam? Are these worth the money? Why don't we find out together? Because over the last few months, I've secretly purchased every single item I saw on TikTok. And today we're going to review them and see if they're worth it or not. Starting with the silent basketball. Take a look. You want us to show you how silent our basketball is? Okay, I'll show you right now. This is how it sounds when using a regular ball. And this is when you use our completely silent basketball. See? Now you can practice your handles in silence while others are sleeping. Me personally, after watching that, I'm still a little confused by the product itself. Like, what is the purpose of a silent basketball? Why would you need that? Let's take a look at another one of their videos and find out. Why would you need a silent basketball, you ask? That's such a stew great question. A regular basketball is way too loud, so you can't practice your handles at home. But with our silencer, you can practice even at 1 a.m. and no one would hear it. Great advertisement. That is 231,000 likes. That is some actual insane promo. I saw that video and I had the same exact reaction as one of the top comments. Is it foam? Because if it's just a foam ball, of course it's gonna be silent. It's foam. And then I had a look at the website where these are sold. And here are some of the reviews. Fast shipping and good quality. I bought the standard one and I can never go back. There is a very very hard part. I'm afraid my children will get hurt. Best ball ever for the kids. Couldn't be happier. So obviously it had some pretty mixed reviews and at a price tag of $29.99, which seems incredibly pricey for a basketball. I figured, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna have to try it out for myself. And ladies and gentlemen, I just, <laughs> I just opened it. Here it is. That was a cool way to open that. I didn't even mean to do that. Here it is. The official silent basketball. This is my first time touching it and Yes, it's foam. 100% foam. But I guess let's go try it out and see how it works. The official silent basketball. It is pretty much 100% foam. Do you want this? What are you, what are you staring at me for, bro? <laughs> Can we get the decibels on screen? How much? How ah! All right, chill, man. You'll get your turn with it. I don't know. Was that loud? Let me get, let me get closer with the mic. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on. Come at me, bro. <laughs> Actually, I mean, it is pretty. Silent. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, 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 cross them up! <laughs> Speak. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Let's see what he does. <laughs> Tell me, okay. Let me take this away from him, bro. You already, you already ruined the damn thing, bro. This cost me $30, bro. Come on, give me that. They are not dog friendly as you can see i'll give the silent basketball like a three out of ten all right toby what do you say we show him the next item what do you think <laughs> if you thought that basketball was cool well actually you probably didn't but this next product is actually a bit more promising it's called the fire wallet it actually looks pretty cool let's take a look and why would i need fire in my wallet this is the worst question i've ever heard who doesn't want to scare people when they pay for something or light a cigarette with style Everyone needs fire in their wallets. I'm sure you're already noticing a trend. Everybody uses this one AI guy's voice to promote their product. He's like the official spokesperson for your cringe TikTok products. But this one, I'll admit, does look pretty cool. It's a wallet and you open it and just catches on fire. That's pretty interesting, right? That's what I thought. And then I went to their website. Immediately you're greeted with this banner that just says, last available units, low stock, low stock, last available units. Like, all right, damn, I was thinking about buying one, but now I have to, I have to now. There's, there's low unit, which is funny because they have a deal where if you buy more than one or more than two, you get a discounted price, which doesn't make much sense if you have low stock. I, I feel like you would want to price them higher, but you know what? Go off, I guess. Good marketing. And then I scrolled down and read more about the functionality of the wallet, and one of the things on their site, it just says, be the ultimate prankster. <laughs> I'm not too sure what about this product screams prankster. Like, all right, sir, that'll be $4.32. And I'm just thinking of that meme where it's like the live look at the fire wallet in my pocket. So yeah, I was pretty much sold on purchasing my fire wallet. And then I scrolled down on the website and read some of the reviews. I didn't get my package. I didn't receive my order. So bad, this company. Never came? So yeah, I saw these and I was like, these people surely just put the wrong address or something. There can't possibly be a company that doesn't send you your product after you buy it. So I bought one, which came out to about $30 with shipping. And two months later, it never came. Oh my God. 
I actually had some stupid hope that it would for some reason, but yeah, that company is a scam. But luckily I found the same exact product on Amazon for $20. And ladies and gentlemen, that did come. Shout out to Jeff Bezos. He never fails me, never. Immediately, uh, first reaction, it looks like a real wow. It's not, it's not about the light on fire, is it? Okay. I think you have to put lighter fluid in. I think we just try it out. Here on the Crispy Concord channel, we take fire safety very seriously. So that's why we thought the best place to test this product would be in the bathtub. This is my one definitely do not try this at home warning. Do not try this at home. Do not try this at home. So here we have the fire wallet. Looks to me like a, an ordinary wallet, right? But no, it's got this section in it where it basically lights on fire. So I'm trying to think of the best way to go about this. I'm gonna, oh, jeez. Such a stupid idea. I'm gonna sit up a little bit. And uh, just in case I need to drop it, I'll just drop it right in the water. <laughs> and hopefully not burn my house down. <laughs> Anyways, the first thing it requires is a little bit of lighter fluid. So I'm gonna pour that on. Oh, okay, nice. And uh, I think next, all you gotta do is just flick this on and apparently it should light it. I'm actually kind of nervous. I don't like fire. I, uh, my name is Crispy, but I, I, I don't, I'm not a fan of fire. I think it's dangerous, and I think this item is dangerous. I'm gonna do it one time, and if it works, that's cool, but I still think this item is stupid. Let's see. So it's sparking. I think we just gotta get one of these to catch. Oh, yo, oh my goodness. Oh, that'll be $4.18? Sure, I got you. I don't like this. I don't, I hate this. I hate, I'm in my house right now with an open flame. Okay, oh my God, mm. oh. Don't like that. Epic prank though. It's a unique product, but it is a dumb one. But for the epic pranks of it, I'll give it a three out of 10. Pretty low rating so far on these products, but we can only go up from here, right? <laughs> Let's see the next item. All right, this next product is, I think the most viral one I saw. This video has 280 million views. Uh, for reference, I think that's more than I have on my entire YouTube channel, which I've been doing this for 10 years. That's insane. This one video is more popular than anything I've ever done. And it's for a product called the Inkless Printer. Let's take a look. <gasps> <laughs> oh my god. Isn't it great? Chris! I know, it's my dream. <laughs> the inkless printer. It sounds like a, a thing of the future, you know? You sound like you would uh, travel to the year 3000 and see the Jonas Brothers there and they'd, they'd have it. They'd be inkless printing out stuff, you know? But it's actually a thing of our time. In 2023, inkless printing exists. Let's check out their website. Oh, okay, they shut it down. Okay, it doesn't exist. <laughs> okay, um, I bought this off their website a couple months ago, <laughs> but their website doesn't. I guess too much traffic, right? This video has millions of views and it's continuing to gain. Maybe they just couldn't keep up with the demand, so they shut it down. But the good news is, I got mine. If you didn't get it, you didn't get it. You missed out. I'm sure you could probably find these on Amazon. All these companies are just buying them for cheaper and reselling them. It's not like any of these people made these products. They already existed. But uh, I've never taken it out of the box, so I think let's just uh, test it out here together. Let's take a look. All right, here it is. Fresh out the box, looking like a Polaroid camera from 1990. Interesting design, but let's not judge it too quick. I mean, we're here to judge the functionality of the thing. This is the first thing I needed to do is download this app. So I should be able to turn it on. There's the LEDs flashing and it should show up on my phone here. My device. Oh my God, it does. Okay, I'm already kind of blown away by this thing. Now let's just see if it works. Let's go to print, I, I guess photograph, right? I guess it's... Whoa, what, huh? I have no idea what the hell I'm allowing right now, but let's go ahead and do it. <laughs> okay, and there's no way to flip the camera either, so I guess I gotta just... Why is the flashlight constantly on? <laughs> I look uncomfortable. <laughs> okay, let's try it. Let's try that one. Let's just see. Oh, just instantly turns black and white. Okay, let's try it out. I guess all I gotta do is hit print. Let's see. Oh, I'm hearing some... No way. No way. No way. Oh my god, there's my car. What the? It stopped halfway. Um. <laughs> I was so excited. Oh, what happened, bro? What ha is there like a jam in here? It's, it's working. Fingers crossed. Do not print half the damn picture. Do not print half the damn picture. It's doing the whole thing. What an insane photo. You can just imagine my grandkids finding this in 50 years. This is the last known photo we had of grandpa. <laughs> Okay, wait, let's try, I want. I saw something else on here that looked kind of interesting. It said AI painting. I think it has, oh my God, hello, I am an AI painter. Please enter a keyword description. Okay, this is built into the app. We live in the day and age where everything is controlled by AI. I just think about where we're gonna be at next year and I'm horrified because I know where we are right now. But uh, let's have some fun. Let's do a capybara construction worker. <laughs> let's, see what, uh, let's see what that comes up with. <laughs> okay, that is 
Not a capybara, and adds not a construction worker. Okay, I'm not too scared of AI yet. Anyways, let's print it. You are the first people in the world to watch this image being printed off a Bluetooth wireless printer. This is the fucking future, baby. Oh, what's that? You're scared of the future? Well, this image must terrify you, huh? Anyways, this thing is actually pretty cool. I think it has the best functionality so far. I think I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10. I think it's... A pretty cool piece of technology, and yeah, one of my favorites so far for sure. But we got a pretty cool one coming up next. I think you guys might like this one. Our next product, although it's not the most viral one like the last one, I'm pretty sure you've probably seen this before because I've seen this ad from no joke like 20 different accounts, probably hundreds of times. Drop shippers must love this product right here. And it's always the same exact gimmick in all of the videos. <laughs> The product is called the Jumpin' Pop. I'll show you again how the world's highest bouncing fidget toy always comes back to your hand, no matter where you throw it from. Now, watch closely. These people take this little spinny thing, drop it from really high heights, and just reverse the video. Like he's done, look at this other one. It's in reverse. It isn't so let me show you again. See? Wait, so. And if you look at the comments, I think everybody knows. It's reversed! Bro reversed. The video backward. And if you start to look at these other guys' videos after he starts getting these comments, he just starts to play into the meme, which is the funniest part. Look at this one. Why are you always saying it's reversed? Look, it's clearly not. Like, he zooms in on people doing things backwards, and he, he just... It's just engagement bait at that point. I don't know how this is gonna sell products to anybody with a brain. But speaking of that, I got one right here. Let's test it out. <laughs> it's called the Hip Hop Pops. Pops over five feet. Spin drop. Ooh, indoor and outdoor fun. This one cost me $14. All right, here we have it. The Hip Hop Pop. I don't know what the hell that means. It, these go by like a thousand different names. It says on the packaging that it pops to over five feet. So I guess we'll try that first. Here's what it looks like. If you want to get a close up, wow. Wow, look at that. Let's go over here to the concrete, I guess. Three, two, one. Dude, it's not even, this thing sucks. Dude, what's going on here? All right, here we go. Oh, that was cool. Okay, it finally worked. I'm about 4'11", so maybe that was about three feet tall right there. Oh, dude, you get that? Yeah. Oh my God, this thing's amazing. This thing's amazing. Okay, I changed my mind. All right, one more try. Let's see if this thing's a scam or not. Three, two. Woo! <laughs> Come on, bro. You know what? It's not working. I think I know how to make this thing work. Hang on. Three, two. Woo! Woo! I'll give it like a five out of ten, right in the middle. I wouldn't pay sixteen dollars for this. Do not, do not buy this. Okay, the next product could end up being my favorite if it actually works. Like most of these, I was just in my bed late at night, not sleeping, up till 5 a.m., just scrolling through TikTok, and then I came across this video right here. I recently got a Pear phone, and honestly, the video quality is really good, and the shape, obviously, it's a Pear, but it's not very ergonomical. So yeah, if you've seen iCarly, Victorious, or any of those old Nickelodeon shows, you know how iconic Shout this pair phone pair. is. They used to be tweeting out their moods, or not tweeting, whatever social media they had on Victorious. I did some research, uh, well first on TikTok, and then I came across this other video right here. Hey Miri, where can I get a pair phone? I found this on the web. Pair Store USA on Etsy. So that video showed a working Hair phone. I don't know if it was edited or not, but they actually linked to their website and it actually ended up looking pretty high quality. They had like every single different color option. It was like a professionally built website. It didn't feel like any of the ones before where it was just made by some drop shipper. There was something that felt a bit more professional about it. So I saw that they were $42, which I was like, okay, that's a little bit of money, but you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll risk it. If it's a working pair phone, that is completely worth $42. Imagine if I sent a Snapchat with that to the one 50 year old grandma I got a streak with. She would have no idea what it is, but it would still look pretty cool, right? Anyways, I placed an order waited for a couple months and it finally came in so let's take a look together at my brand new pair phone baby this looks like it was just straight shipped from some factory in china almost confident this isn't going to work but i guess let's let's get an asmr come in real close here let's get some asmr of the oh look at that oh let me get close with the mic It feels like very much lighter than an actual iPhone and there is no way to power this on. It's just literally a, a piece of plastic. Let's test out that, uh, that Miri feature that that one video had. Let's see if it works. Hey Miri, what's the square root of pi? Go f yourself. 
Okay. <laughs> yeah, there's quite literally no functionality of this thing. Let's try and make a fake TikTok with it in the mirror. Let's see if that works. Uh, just got home from the Apple store. What the fuck did they give me, bro? They said this was the last one in stock. Steve Jobs did not die for this. Let's see if that works. Editor, do your thing. Uh, just got home from the Apple store. What the fuck did they give me, bro? They said this was the last one in stock. Steve Jobs did not die for this. Functionality wise, this thing gets a zero out of 10. This is literally a piece of plastic. But design wise, I'll give it a 10 out of 10. Apple, let's make this happen. The ball is in your court. All right, our next product is gonna be a huge hit for those of you guys who like music. Oh, Crispy, I'm a fan of music. I love music. Of course you are. Everybody loves music. And that's why I found this next product so interesting. It's called the Bluetooth Beanie. What the heck is what wrong with your beanie? Ball? Ma'am, it's called a Bluetooth beanie. It's a beanie that can connect to your phone, like headphones. I would imagine if you wore this to high school, you'd probably have some pretty solid reverb listening to all that music after getting shoved in the locker by a uh, bully. <laughs> But look, it is an interesting product. I used to have a shirt when I was a kid. It was a light up shirt and it had an aux cord on it back before Bluetooth was a thing. And uh, I <laughs> plugged it into my iPod touch at the time and the shirt was a speaker. And uh, one day my mom accidentally put it in the wash and completely ruined it. And that was one of the saddest days of my prepubescent childhood. But anyways, today we're here to relive it all because we got one baby. The music beanie hat. I paid $36 for this, so it better be worth it. Let's try it out. Ladies and gentlemen, live unboxing. Here we go. That's all that's in there. Let's see, let's take a look. It might be pretty straightforward. Oh, do you gotta charge it? If so, we are screwed. Okay, so I guess the power button is the play button? Oh yeah, see, look, it's on. Some LEDs in there. My barber was out of town this week, so I got a pretty messed up haircut right now, so maybe this will uh, save me. All right, now let's go to Spotify. Whatever the first song that comes up, Wait, okay, so there's like a little... That little thing in the beanie? Yeah, but there's one on this side too and it's not working. <laughs> it's only, it's only in the left ear. <laughs> Wait, hold on, this kind of goes hard. Shit, we're doing drugs like it's the 80s. Me and Cracker Crispy like the 18. Why your mama wanna have my babies? Hey man, what song are you listening to? Oh, it's uh, one hour of silence, occasionally broken up by the smoke alarm chirp. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, all right, well, I appreciate it. Thank you. This next product really hits home for me. As some of you guys may know, I have a little something called ADHD. TikTok and all these other short form apps are not helping. They're actually kind of making all of our ADHD worse. But I've kind of had mine my whole life. I have an incredibly hard time focusing on a lot of things. But we won't get into that, okay? Let's take a look at the next product. It's an ADHD fidget toy. I think my little brother caught the ADHD virus. He wouldn't stop fidgeting. So I started to sell this toy to cure his ADHD. Let's see if I can free him from this illness. Wait, it's actually satisfying. And he's finally focused. My first reaction to that is, what the fuck happened to the AI dude? They got his wife taken over. I hope he's okay. The ADHD virus, the illness. I'm I, I, as an ADHD sufferer. I don't appreciate these terms, okay? I take offense to that. But then I took a look at this guy's page. And this marketing is kind of insane. Let's take a look at another video. My cheating husband's ADHD never lets him focus while working from home. He procrastinates a lot. Let's see if the pixel press can make him finally focus. He found it. Wait, it's satisfying. Your cheating husband looks an awful lot like your little brother. What kind of family dynamic do you have? I think this guy's whole account is just using the same guy and having him cosplay his different family men. Let's see what this one is, let's see. Since my dad escaped from prison, I noticed he started to develop ADHD. He started <laughs> doing- my dad escaped from prison? <laughs> I'm not gonna like, this is kind of hilarious. But anyways, I ordered one a few months ago and look what we have today. The quick push game console. Kind of a weird game console. If I do say so myself, I mean, it's got a mission mode, a multiplayer mode. I guess it is a game console. Who needs a Nintendo DSi when you got the quick push? Can you imagine just a little kid asking for <laughs> Can I get a Switch for Christmas? And his parents get him the quick push. <laughs> Anyways, let's uh, let's test it out. Let's see. Let's see if it cures my ADHD. All right, here we have it. The game push. This uh, looks pretty scuffed coming out the box. Let's see what we got ourselves into. Come on. Tell me it needs batteries and didn't come with them. Let's see. Let's see. What is Dude, it's 2023 and stuff still doesn't include that. I'm mind blown. Amazon Basics battery. You thought that would never come in handy? Today it did. Oh, are these charged? I think it would have turned on if these were charged. Let's see where the power button is. Right there. Oh! 
All right, welcome to the push game. How do I? Level two. Level two. No. What? Well, how do I play? <laughs> what? What the hell is going on? Um, is it like? Oh, maybe I. Oh, oh! Isn't that just how I? I lost. Okay, probably shouldn't start on level 21. How about level one? Okay, level, I, I, this is level two. If I press on the back, I believe it just starts. Okay, here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Oh my God. My ADHD is leaving my body. <laughs> it gives you like no satisfaction for beating the levels. You just do the same thing every time. You do one and then you do three. You do one and then you do three. Like, when does it end? Are you keeping track of my score? Or am I just doing the same thing over? There's like no. Everything a game console shouldn't be is this thing right here. I hate it. I wasted my money. I still have the ADHD virus and I'm not cured. Three out of 10. Moving on, next item. Okay, this next product is the most expensive one I purchased. Uh, I spent $250 on this just on a whim. Just, I was just like, you know what? Maybe this is gonna be cool. But is it $250 cool? Decide for yourself, take a look. This is how I print Emmy Tattoo instantly. We designed this mini tattoo printer in our custom CMY cartridge, which is the same pigment as lip tint ink. So they're skin safe and temporary. There's two different print settings, but for tattoos, you can use skin mode. You can upload any image or choose from our design, which we made in collaboration with some really cool artists. Prep your skin with the product powder, then push the button until it beeps and just roll it on your skin to print. Happy printing. So yeah, that video ended up getting over a million likes and it's from a brand called Imprintu. This brand did not feel like the others because they actually made this product. It wasn't like somebody found a product online, made their own website for it and sold it for a higher amount. They're actually the creators of this product. Their website felt a lot more professional than the other ones. And basically their product, if you couldn't tell, it's a little rolly thing where you can imprint temporary tattoos onto yourself. Apparently you can upload any image you want. It stores onto that thing and then you just roll it onto yourself and it should create a temporary tattoo. So yeah, like I said, I ordered one for $250 and a few weeks later it came. I haven't even taken it out the box yet, but let's give it a shot and see if it works. Here we go. Most expensive item of the day. Let's do a live unboxing. What do we got? First we got bomb fixer. Here we go. Let's see what's in the box. Moment of truth. Oh, we got the, okay, it's actually, ooh, it's pretty heavy. It's got like a nice little feel to it. I guess you load like the ink or whatever in there. Uh, the first thing I gotta do is download an app. Okay, it's finding my device, LG Imprint 2. Select an accessory, huh, 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 huh? LG, okay, just press it again. Oh look, it paired. This is the tattoo I wanna do. This is the incredibly stupid idea I have. But if this works, this device is getting a 10 out of 10. I have the barcode here for a pack of Oreo cookies. I'm gonna get that tattooed on my body. I'm gonna go into Target. I'm gonna find one of those barcode scanners that they have throughout the store and I'm gonna scan it. And if it works, this is the greatest device of all time. What the hell is that? What the, what the hell is that? That's not, I mean, it worked, but it's nowhere near big enough. I'm gonna try it at a really awkward angle here. Please work. Oh, that one was clean. That one looks clean. Oh, that was perfect, but my fucking sleeve fucked it up. This is true dedication right here. What is that? I don't know. Ow, that burned too. It's, ah, oh, dude, that one hurts so bad. What is it that? It burned me. Did we go to Target and see if this works? If this works, I'm getting this as an actual tattoo. Moment of truth. I, oh, I smudged like a thousand of these. We'll try this one first. Is that gonna work? Is that gonna work? Oh, I thought it just scanned. Oh, okay. What I had, that's the best one we had on that arm. I think I had, okay, this one looks really readable right there. Please scan. Please scan. Please scan, you're my only hope. It's not working. All right, well that shit didn't work. Target just closed and they kicked us out. I got all these on my body for no reason, but you know what? I don't care if it takes 400 different barcodes. I'm going back tomorrow when they open and I'm getting this. But later in the video, stay tuned. I'm getting that shit for sure. Stay tuned, it's coming up. But for now, here's the next product, enjoy. Okay, this next product is the most recent trend out of all of these. You know, I've been collecting these over the last few months, but this product just kind of appeared out of nowhere like a week or two ago. And I just kept seeing it all over TikTok. So this one was a last minute addition to the rest of these products. It's called the Flexi Frame. The Flexi Frame can fit this whole marker. It's made of a special plastic. Let's prove how durable it is. Not even a needle can break it. 
Here's to all the doubters. So basically it's like this durable frame where you can put products in to frame them and it makes it look 3D. And they're saying it's so durable that like not even a knife can cut through it. Look at this. Okay, fine, we'll try a knife. So yeah, apparently this display plastic is like indestructible. So I had to buy some for myself and test it out. These only cost me like $14.99 and there's about like 10 of them in here. So I think that's probably the best deal of the day so far. Let's test them out. This one has been all over TikTok recently. And the first thing I want to test, is it actually indestructible? Can I cut through this with a knife or not? All right, here we go. Whoa, this is not at all what I was expecting. How does this open? What? It smells weird too. It smells like a... I don't know. It weirdly smells like part of my childhood. I might uh, I might hold on to one of these and sniff it <laughs> in my spare time. Maybe cure some trauma I got hidden up there. Anyways. Oh wait, you hear that? Producers, sample this. Okay, I think maybe you, you combine two of uh, we'll see we'll see how it goes. First thing we need to test is the knife test. Three, two, one. Oh my god. Oh my god, wait a second. It's not going through. Oh. Okay, it just took a little bit of force. <laughs> oh yeah, that's uh, unfortunate. I bought something that would be perfect to encase in one of these plastic frames. A Lightning McQueen toy car. But for some reason, he is a bit discolored. I don't know, he might be a little unwell. Hopefully he's okay. I bought this one in the store, and then I saw this one, I was like, oh, I need this one, but I didn't even realize I bought them both. So I guess let's try the other <laughs> random Hot Wheels one I got first. So you put it in here, and then put the other side in here, and you should be able to just close it like a sandwich. Whoa, 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 wait, oh. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I think the frame broke. It, it literally, the frame itself broke, so I can't even close it. Look, oh, look at this. These are terrible quality. Let's just move on to McQueen. Let's just move on to, we have to get McQueen in the frame. That's our main priority, getting McQueen in the frame. Don't break, don't break, you slimy. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Did it close? It closed, it closed, and put it on the stand, and there it is. He's like 3D crashing through a window. I actually really like that. That might be a little shelf moment. We'll fit him right here, shelf. Moment. These are pretty cool, although they are not indestructible as advertised. Obviously, that was a lie, but the functionality of them holds up. So if you want to frame something like a toy car, I guess I'd recommend it. I'll give it a six out of 10. Moving on to our next product. Okay, this next product is the most interesting because I didn't even see this as an ad. This wasn't a product that was being promoted to me. I was just scrolling through TikTok and I happened to come across a TikTok live. And this is all it was right here. I was mind blown that uh, a thing like this existed. I was typing in chat, I was like, does, does anyone know what this thing is called? And pretty much everybody ignored me. So then I just went on Google and I typed in ball going in hole thingy. And eventually I hit just the right amount of perfect keywords and it popped up. It's called a perpetual motion machine, which I've never heard of in my life. It sounds like something that Isaac Newton would just have on his desk in his office. But then again, I was like, sucked into this guy's life. And I was watching it through a screen. I was still like so captivated by this product that I had to try it out myself. So I found one on Amazon. It was about $46, which is kind of expensive for a little machine of just a ball that goes back and forth. If you're a broke boy, just fix up. But you know what? I had to see this for myself. So I ordered one and it came in literally the next day. Jeff Bezos, you never let me down. One day shipping, they literally shipped it to me in this box, <laughs> which is like the box for the product. So hopefully it didn't get like damaged in shipping or anything. I think we just got to try it out. This is the most excited I am today to try out one of these products. It's this one right here. I'm very excited to get into this. Let's see how satisfying it is in real life. Let's go. Here it is. Looks like one of those little ramps that used to come with tech decks where you would just like grind on this rail. But I guess it's, I wonder if it works on its own. Perpetual motion toy, one warm tips. Okay, I wonder what the hell a warm, what does a warm tip mean? All right, here we go. First it Attempt, putting in the ball. Three, two, one. Whoa! Come on, get in that hole, get in the hole, get in the hole, get in the hole. Insane. Oh Something about this makes me want to go on TikTok Live and beg for money like Jason Nash. So that's exactly what I'll do. Go live in three, two, one. Guys, tap that screen, I'll add the balls. <laughs> this is crazy right here, guys. Check this out. 
<laughs> Seven viewers, yo, we're making it out the hood with this one. <laughs> more likes can attract more viewers. Hey guys, tap that screen. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Tap that screen. <laughs> 200 viewers, we had another ball. Oh no, chat. Oh my God, we're so close. Oh, we're edging. We're edging, guys. Oh my God, we're edging. Oh my God, who put a hat on it? Here we go, we're adding another ball in. Oh my goodness. There's two balls in the thing. 300 viewers, we got another ball in there. Oh my God, tap that screen, tap, tap, tap. <laughs> oh, we're getting an invite to join a live. All right, let's, let's check it out. Hey, what's up, brother? What's up, how you doing? Good, man, how are you? Good, should we do a battle? Oh yeah, yeah, tap that screen. How much money do you make on TikTok Live? It varies so much. You make a living off this? Yeah, I do, yeah, not just, yeah, just the live and the videos, yeah. I hope you get a lot of money off this. Hey, I appreciate that, I hope you do too, thank you. <laughs> All right, awesome. Back to what we came here for. Tap that screen, guys. Tap, tap, tap. Tap that screen, guys. Tap, 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 tap. Um, somebody said, how do I tap my screen? Okay, so here's what you're gonna do. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it on this and leave the room. I just actually wanna social experiment this real quick. At one point there, where I left the room, the viewers went up by five times. Like that, this device, it's like a cash machine. Now that I've leaked what this is called, I'm sure this is gonna be all over TikTok Live. I might have just leaked the new method. People are gonna buy this and go live and make millions. You're welcome. I got like 90% of the comments were, damn, this is what he's up to after Omegle shut down. <laughs> I was like, Fuck, man. I can't even say anything. I can't even say it's for a video. That was insane. Anyways, I'll give it a 10 out of 10. Probably the best item we've seen yet. It's a new day and we're trying this again. I'm trying a completely different barcode. Hopefully this one works out. I'm just gonna try right here on my lower forearm first. What the fuck is that? What happened to this damn thing, bro? Okay, almost. Oh my God, it looks pretty good, but there's no numbers on the bottom. Where's the numbers? Where the fuck are the numbers? Where are they, bro? Target has an app on their phone where you can scan barcodes. We'll do a test run and it's not working. And it's not working. Wait, sorry, I need, I need to fix this focus. Oh, oh, no, oh, no way. Wait, <laughs> are you serious? It's just, okay, wait, I'm just gonna have to put this like all over my body because, oh, that one might smudge. Oh, that's look at that, that's the best one yet. All right, we have to go right now. We're here at the same exact spot. Where are we? Target. Oh, I thought it just worked. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Dude, there is no way. Holy shit. What's up, man? Luke <laughs> and Crispy. <laughs> What's up? Holy shit. <laughs> hey, Let what? me see your arm. Let me see your arm. <laughs> That's Luke. Quickly. He does Quickly. those Dude, illegal videos, and so does he. All right, hold on. Put that under there. Hold on. We're trying to get the. <laughs> Dude, oh. is this a YouTube video? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a cool video, bro. Dude, they look so. I just ran out of room on my body. Are you sure what y'all got? Yeah, for sure. Omegle got shut down, though, so we, we don't have a job anymore. This is what we're doing. This is it. Oh my Ooh. god. Look at that. Flawless. That's actually the best one yet. Come on, bro. Okay, maybe not. I'm running out of room, bro. Y'all still here? No more? Room? Yeah. Oh my god. 10 out of 10. This is the greatest item of all time. We have to actually buy Oreos now. Where are they? Hold on. This is hard. Excuse me, I need some help. <laughs> okay, it's not gonna work. We, the fact that we got it to work one time is actually insane. But we were there for like, <laughs> like 30 minutes trying to get that to work. All right, well, uh, that's all the products I had. Hey, you like this video? You watch it to the end, you might have liked it. So make sure you click subscribe if you're not subscribed. A lot of you guys don't have that button clicked, so maybe maybe go ahead and click it. And if you watch to the end, comment your favorite early 2000s TV show. <laughs> Love y'all. See you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.